In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create an area plan that will calculate and display the gross internal floor area of your building. So here is a simple Revit project. I've got some external walls, some internal walls and a few doors and windows. So quite often as an architect um, or an architectural designer you'll be required to calculate and know the gross internal floor area. So just for the sake of clarity the gross internal floor area is the total floor area occupied on the from the inside face of the external walls only. So if we did a if you like a polylining CAD all the way around the inside face of the external wall and worked out that area that would be the gross internal floor area. It ignores all internal divisions, columns, etc. So what you don't want to do is start adding Revit rooms and doing a room schedule and totaling those up because obviously you won't account for the space occupied between the rooms i.e. the dividing walls etc. So in order to do a gross internal floor area we create an area plan so if you go to the architecture menu room and area panel and you look there we've got area now we want to create an area plan we're going to base this area plan on level zero the ground floor the type of plan gross internal area you can go and edit and create additional types so you can have whatever subdivision of area plans you need but these are just out of the box in the Autodesk template so I'll just set that to gross internal area at the moment hit OK now Revit offers to create boundary lines to the area based on the external walls so I'm going to accept that offer and hit yes now if you notice the lines that it's added on the inner face of the external walls that is the boundary of our area so now I've got boundary lines in position I can go and actually add an area object in there if you're familiar with Revit rooms it's now like adding a room so if we added a Revit room in here then the room object would fill that space um, dictated by the room bounding objects ie the walls it's the same with areas and, and area plans First of all, you tell Revit you want to create an area plan, which we've done. So a new plan gets added in its own group here. Then you need to enclose the potential area by using boundary lines. And as we've just seen, Revit has created that automatically. We could have said no and added the lines manually ourselves, but we've done it automatically. The next thing to do now we've got some, some bounding lines is to add the area object, which will naturally then expand to fill this area so let's do that now so let's now go and add the area so up to area little drop down area hover over and you can see that it's picking up the boundary lines so click to place the area it's got its own tag and area tag so this particular tag is giving us it's a little bit clustered there. Let's just go and adjust that tag just to make it more readable. So I'm going to select the tag, Edit Family. Just going to make these wider, these labels. Load back into Project, Overwrite. Now we can actually read it properly. So we've got the square meters and the square footage. Zoom back out. And that is our completed gross internal floor area. I hope you enjoyed this Revit architecture video. If so, please hit the like button. If you'd like to be notified when new videos are released, please subscribe to this channel. And to see the full range of my Autodesk Revit architecture training material, including video courses and PDF ebooks, please visit the website at www.bimscape.com. You can also connect with Bimscape on the social media platforms listed here.